It is a whole lot better to be lucky than good, and that is the way this video went down because I didn't have the camera set up. I wasn't ready to start filming. We were catching bait. We were catching croakers hook and line, and I'm with my buddy Ryan from Hook and Reel Charters, and while we're catching bait, cobias show up, and then other big fish, and then more cobias, and then other fish, and more cobias, and more cobias. We never had to run around and look for fish. We found fish right where we were catching bait, and it was absolutely sick. Just stumbled across. I'm super lucky. If you're new to the channel, Joey Antonelli here. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, and we will get into some crazy, chaotic, small boat, small boat foolery right now. Where are they at? Where's the fish at? Uh, straight under the boat. Got him. All right, I see your fish over here. I stuck this one on a light rod. Cutting all yeah, cut it all. Woo! I want my fish to run so we can deal with yours first. Your fish is right here on top. There we go, mine's running down. I'm gonna take mine up to the bow. Doing alright, Ryan? Kinda? All right, mine's running out, which is good. Woo, on the little 2K, 10 pound braid. Cobia hooked up. We had that one get a big mess while I was dealing with some stuff. Or while we were dealing with some stuff. I got white line on mine. That white rod needs to come in. It's gonna end up in the motor. My only rod back there is white line. Oh, this one's mad. All right, I got that white line way over here. Is there still a fish on your rod? Yeah. Here, come over here. You can grab it and probably push. Or, okay, never mind. You deal with yours. Because then you'll be free too. Just pop it in the rod holder. All right, I'm going back up front. Mine's a keeper fish, I think. But I'm not ready yet. You still got him? Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo! Doubled up on cobras. This is so sick. Ryan dealt with the mess. All on his lonesome. We got fly rods in the way. All right, we just don't want these two fish to get wrapped. I will 100% lose that battle. Don't go over, Ryan. Don't go over. Mine is a big fish. I think I got like a 30 pounder. It was definitely bigger than that one, I think. And of course it's on the 10 pound braid. That's all right, I'm just gonna let him really tire out. There's a net. There's so much stuff everywhere on this boat. Dude, my fish is so heavy. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to help you net yours. We gotta land one of these fish though. Preferably both. This is so sick. Ryan, how you feel about this? Tired. Woo -hoo -hoo! Little oh, there's Ryan's Cobra. That's a keeper. Pull it. Pull, pull the net so I can open it longer. There you go. You got it? Yeah. Here, I can net him. I'm just holding my fish. You let me know right when you get him up and I'll try to get out of the way and net him. Oh, 
Almost. Almost, not quite. This is so crazy. Sorry, you almost got him tired. Same here with mine. I got a reel on mine. And then on that. Grab the net. Grab, don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. woohoo! Kobe a one in the boat. Focus on two. He'll be a number two over here. You can just leave, leave him. He'll fall under that seat back there. You know what I mean? Yep. They're about the same, dude. Look at mine right here. He's probably not done yet. Ten pound braid with a little jig head. Not rushing him. Not rushing him at all. Oh my God, Ryan. Woo! Get him in the boat, get him in the boat. Broke the net. All right, he's in the boat though. Ryan, that was sick. Doubled up on some brown clowns. That's a good one there. That is a limit of Kobe or in two fish, because we're only allowed two fish, but that is freaking sick. No, I think that's like scar tissue. Something's going on there. We'll check that out a little bit later. But Ryan's gonna hold this guy up for a photo. That is a nice cobia. That was on the 6K Salt X. That's awesome. On the little 2000 Tsunami Evic 10 pound braid, scale tech rod. You know what we got? A nice cobia, a nice chunker, a nice 40 incher right there. That is so sick. Hook got him. Oh my gosh! Look at that hook. I was so close to losing that fish. I don't know what kind of jig head this is, but we're putting a stronger hook on. All right. Two solid Kobe in the box, which is a limit of Kobe now by the new rules, which means it is time. Well, we don't need that off yet. Time to fly or die, because there's still Kobe is to be caught. We're busting out the fly rod. I'm gonna get the action hat on my head. Oh, there's a Kobe right out back. Kobe right out back. Oh, I see him, I see him. I need him further away, man. All right, let's see. Did you see that eat? Did you see that eat? You gotta get on the reel, gotta get on the reel. Woo -hoo -hoo! <laughs> All right, Cobia on fly. That ain't a bad one, dude. Wow. That ain't a bad one. Look at him right there. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Wait till that 40 pounder comes up. Man, he's just hanging out real low. my spool right there. That's not my drag. I think I don't know how the reel works and I loosen that thinking it was the drag. It's the freaking spool. Alright, we're getting our line back. 
take this off. Dude, that eat was sick. I, that hope, was that, I hope that eat came out. You don't even need to find rays. No. Go a little tighter on the drag. So I am brand new to fly fishing. I think you guys have heard me say that in my last few videos. But I went to Harry Goods, got this set up. I don't know what it is. It says Echo. I guess the rod and reel are both Echo. It's an 11 weight. I wanted something big enough I could take out on the boat and do stuff like this. I really don't know much about it. I'm learning, I'm practicing casting. I mean, most of my casts are super short because the fish are usually swimming up to the boat by the time I decide I want to use this. But this is by far, I mean, I caught one little cobia once on the fly rod, but this one's like well more than double that size. Like, I don't know what you're supposed to do once you get here. Am I supposed to keep reeling that up into the rod? I mean, you got to, right? Fly guys, help me here. Tell me what to do. I don't even think I put my rod together all the way. Coming up. Oh, well, there he goes. This is so cool. Dude, did you fix your net or is it like done? No, it's fine. Maybe for one more fish. <laughs> I just put screws in it because the, the little metal things came out of it. Yeah. All right, come back up. Oh my God. Take it a little tighter. Get a little tighter on them. Make them work for it. We got 30 pound leader. Well, I mean, it's that tapered stuff. I don't know how all that goes, but I tied a piece of 30 pound floral onto the end of it. So I know that's what's in his mouth or that's what the fly's tied to. And as far as the fly pattern, I don't know what it's called. My friend Logan made it for me. There he is. There's that fly right there hanging out of his mouth. But he smoked that thing. Gotta stay tight on for a few seconds until we can net him. I'm gonna pause it. No, no, we'll keep it on. Um, I'll go back to the action hat and you can stop that. He's ready for the net. He's ready for the net. Get him, Rye. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, look at that net. On fly. Mega sickness. Cobia on the fly rod. We put the Cobia in there real quick. I just gotta weigh him real quick because we're I'm actually doing this thing with the FSFA. I need to get a weight on this guy and I'm gonna weigh him safely, then get him back in the water. Good? Yep. There he is. Oh, that was full water. water. Cobia on the fly. He like swirled on it but didn't take it. Yeah. Oh, he's coming back around. There's a couple of them. Might be a space. Looks like you got it. Oh, that's him. No clue what it is. We got something big hooked up here on the flat line. Pitched it to something. Again on the 2K, for whatever reason, I'm grabbing the 2K today. 
That's good. We're going good going nice and slow. Neutral. At first I was thinking jack, but I don't feel the big tail beats of a jack. <clears throat> it could be another brown one. I was saying no to the jack in the beginning, but look at that rod. It's going boom, boom, boom. It's feeling very jack-like now. But we'll see, hopefully. Maybe it'll be a surprise and be something different. Get him like 30 feet under the boat and then he pulls again. Because I got that little fray right at the water line. I can see it. Oh, I see it. Yeah, that's the spot that I can't really get him past. I can't get that onto the reel. Ryan's putting some work in while I'm doing it too. He decided that he had enough watching. And we got us a croca. Look who decided to come join our party. Thump. Thump. Oh, get another bait, get another bait, get another bait. He's still circling the boat. He's still circling the boat. You can get him on fly if you want to. I don't see him right now though. Oh yeah, yeah. Stern. Stern, straight off the stern. Coming around this side. And thump. Try number two. Oh, you stuck him that time. Rye's got him on. Cobia thumper. Well, I got this battle going on over here. That's pretty epic. How do you like that, Ryan? It's a big one. At least you didn't hook the jack. Imagine if you hooked one of those jacks. What's happening over there, Ryan? Kobe, I'm on. And I'm getting worked. You going for the flip? No, I'm just trying to wear them out. Wear them out, make them a little easier to handle. I like the style. That's what I'm doing over here for 20 minutes. Wide open Kobe thumpage. We already got our two keepers. That's another nice one, though. That's got 60 on there. I mean, the hook might bend, but you can give it a shot. In the boat. In the boat, he says. And out of the boat. And back in the boat. Come on, we're getting close. And there's Ryan's fish right there. Nice cobia. You ready to send him back? Sending him back. All right. Right next to you. All right, send him over here. Cobia. Where's the jack? Two, a big school right there and then a big school further out there. I got to be able to see this thing soon, dude. I've been gaining on him for a while. I feel like he's just out of sight. 20 ish feet. 20 feet? Yeah. Oh, now 30. See him out there flashing? Yeah, they're cool to see. Can you get, this might be a, can we net them or no, that won't work. Yeah. Dude, this thing is an absolute stud. This could be PB jack fish, definitely on 10 pound. It's got a gash in his side. Yeah, see that you got tagged by something. You just gotta hold it like this. <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, it's an old old cut. That is a giant. That thing is beat up. Holy crap. Grab by the Yeah, their tails are sharp. They just be careful. Holy crap. Look at the other side of him. Oh my god. Look at the other side of this fish, Ryan. Oh my god, look at his head. This thing has been attacked by a shark. <laughs> Holy crap. And that's not now, that's old. The zombie fish. Zombie fish, yeah. That is like freaking insane. Zombie fish. Oh my god. We're gonna go ahead and send him back in the water. This is an absolute tank of a jack. And he had a run in with something nasty. Uh -huh. 
Where's my hook? Hook's out. That thing is so beat up. Oh, he's kicking now. Cobia! Cobia! Here you go! Right. He's chasing the jack. He's over there. Oh, he's gonna thump you. He ate it? No. Oh. He ate it that time? Oh boy! Oh boy, Ryan thumped him. We are just drifting. Oh, just drifting and these fish just keep swimming up to us. Look at that cobra. Let me get the net. <laughs> Ryan's perfect net. He's out of the net. Well, that might be another keeper for the day, but we're good already. We got our limit, another cobia. This turned out to be a sick coey day, and now we're gonna throw the popper if we find some more. All right. Thumped it. Send it back. Yep. You head first? Whatever you want, or you can just let him go slowly. Oh! There he goes! Oh! oh! Oh man, I got another school fired up. Look at that old school. Oh! Jeez! Oh my god, look at them all. On the papa! Look at them all right here too, right at the boat. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. We hit that one good. On to Papa. Come on, buddy. We're gonna make our way to the back of the boat. This is another one of those 6,000 Sol X's. I got 40 pound braid on this one though, so I can put some heat to them on the Tsunami Surface Blaster Popper. I'm just really laying into him. Nowhere near as big as that last one. But still pretty cool. Still a decent size GT. Florida GT. Oh yeah. You got him? Captain Ryan, even when he's days off, he's working. Just watch that treble hook on you. There we go. Look at that guy on the papa. This is so sick. Popper fishing for big old jacks. One more shot of him, or we send him back. 